In our modern day, you know, if you were to ask Jews, are you responsible for killing Jesus? A lot of people get very angry for the accusation. How dare you say we're responsible? But that's what the Bible says. Then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and on our children. Look, the Jews took credit for it during this day. Now, they're not the only ones responsible. I get that. I understand that. I mean, the Romans are certainly responsible, but who does the Bible chiefly put to blame for this event? The Jews. And the Jews said, hey, we'll take it, and the blood can be on our children as well. Now, I'll say this. Some Jews will get very angry at the accusation, but not all Jews. There's a famous Jewish comedian. Her name is Sarah Silverman. She is a, a, a very wicked and uh you know evil person the things that come out of her mouth but you know the jews got all you know they didn't want when that jesus movie came out you know but no the jews didn't want people to see it because you know they felt you know everybody blames the jews for for killing christ and then the jews try to pass it off on the romans you know i'm one of the few people that believes it was the blacks I don't care. Good. I, I hope the Jews did kill Christ. I'd do it again. I'd f it again in a second. If I hear his Birkenstocks clacking this way. Anyway, it's, it, it's interesting because things that are righteous and godly and good, the media says, how dare them say that and tries to brush it away. But you can say just about anything vulgar or perverse and anything's allowed to go. But what she said was so bad that even just the mainstream said, whoa, that's too far. It's like, well, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. 